Hey everybody, welcome. My name's Norm with Norman McLean Art, and this is Kiwi, my painting partner. Um, so the art journey, an art journey is about painting and um, how do you get here? So uh, not every day is a painting day. Uh, for example, today is going to be a canvas prepping day. Um, so I have some canvases that I'm gonna prep. So that's what we're gonna do, right Kiwi? That's what we're gonna do. All right, people, don't go anywhere. We're gonna prep some canvases. Prep, prep, prep. A lot of canvases come with plastic and covering them. I've already removed uh, this one. I need to remove these ones. I like to use this little tool like this uh, that is used for painting, but I, I use it just to poke through the plastic. I usually just grab this, poke it into the plastic, and remove the plastic. Just quickly, there we go. And another one. And the last one. Who likes that sound? It's like popping bubbles almost. Bubble wrap. Now that we have the plastic off, put my little knife back. I have these here. These are just uh, corners from uh, a whole bunch of canvases that I bought. Sometimes I use these just to prop up my canvas as I'm working on it. I like to just set up my working area how how it, it's going to be. I have these little cardboard cutouts. I think I will use them. Just get them ready. So I'll just get these ones ready here. There we go. And that's all it is. I just set them on here so I can paint or gesso the sides like that. I have some more little cardboard cutouts that I'm going to use for this one. There we go. So I use um, a sponge brush that you can buy pretty much anywhere. And I have some gesso here that I'm going to put on my canvas. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my gesso and I'm going to that you give it a good shake. Whoa, a little dizzy, just kidding, just kidding. All right, so find a spot. We're gonna, we're gonna move these ones away a little bit, but I know I'm gonna place them there. I'm gonna start off with these ones. We're gonna open it. Open sesame. Be careful when you open it. There's gonna be some on the lid. Put it over here. Now, I'm gonna use my sponge brush. The way I like to start is I like to do the edges and then do the top. Okay, so you don't wanna waste gesso. So just kinda of dip your, your brush into it. And I start with the edges. You want to make sure that you have a thin layer of gesso. There we go. And did I do this side? We're gonna do this side. A gessoing is not hard. And I like to do a minimum of two coats. Even sometimes three. Now I'm gonna work on the top. So here we go. I like to do for the first coat, remember it's gonna be thin, but I like to do some crisscrossing. And then I start on one side of the canvas and I work my way down. Now expect, also expect to get a little bit of gesso on your hands. It comes right off when you wash it with soap and water. Sometimes you get little clumps. You wanna remove that. 
Remember, just a thin layer to begin with. What does gesso do to your canvas? This is what I find that gesso does to your canvas. I find that gesso helps in this, um, certain ways. It helps fill in all the little crevices that your canvas might have. So what the gesso is doing is filling in some of those little valleys. And the reason why I'm doing this now, just crossing like this, is because this is the first layer and I'm just trying to fill in some of the, the valleys from the canvas. There we go. And if you bend down and look with the reflection of the light, you'll be able to see if you missed any spots. That if you have a spot, not just to stop in that spot, you need to come across the entire canvas because if you just stop midway, you're going to get uh, a line. So be careful of that. This one, the first coat on this one is done. We're gonna move over to this one now. Okay, so again, I'm just using, using up the gesso that's, that I shook onto my lid. I'm gonna be careful not to touch my clothes on this one. I'm gonna start with the edges. Okay. We're gonna place it down. Be careful when you're placing it down. Ah, oh, I just touched my hand. It's all over my hand. Oh well. Problems of being an artist. All right, just dipped it and you're gonna start again. Remember not to overload your brush. First um, coat. Is nice and thin. Don't worry if you don't get everything all uh, everything covered the first time around. Okay so first coat done, first coat done. Move this over here. You can make a little song with this. Move this over here. I'm not, I'm not a singer. I'm an artist. I'm not a singer. Um, okay so we're gonna do the five by sevens. Now the five by sevens are much easier, they're much smaller, and I don't know why I'm talking so fast. Gessoing your canvases, even if it comes pre-gessoed, um, gessoing it again actually is a good idea. I find that it actually uses less paint. There, this one's done, I'm just gonna flop it down here. And we're gonna start. Number two. Okay, crisscrossing. Filling in all the, the edges. I like the sponge brush because it makes a nice smooth, um, uh, smooth, smooth, smooth. It, it makes it smooth compared to a brush, a normal brush that has bristles, and then you see the lines. So that's why I use a sponge brush. The bad thing about using a, not the bad thing, I guess the negative thing about using a sponge brush, it, it, it absorbs quite a bit of the gesso. So at the end, when I'm done gessoing my my uh, canvases here, like that. Okay, push it off to the side. So now I have some gesso that's in there. So with the gesso that I have on my brush, I just take it, and I know I'm gonna get some with my fingers, but I squeeze it out. Look at all that gesso that I would have lost. So I just kind of like scrape it on the, in there, do the same thing a couple of times. It's okay if I get it on my fingers. Right after this, I'm gonna to go to the sink and wash my brush and wash my hands. There you have it. Coat number one, done. So you wanna make sure 
You wanna make sure that your coat is completely dry before starting your next one. So, got a little bump there. So, I'm gonna give it at least two hours, maybe even three hours to completely dry. It should dry pretty quickly because you did not put a thick coat. I'm gonna come back, do coat number two, and when that's done, you can start painting. So hopefully these little tips and tricks and everything like that helped. Um, I'm gonna go and clean up my brush, clean up my hands, and that's it. Make sure you prep your uh, canvases before you start painting. It does help. Till next time.